Hey, it's Chris from the Chris Stefanik Show. We dive into how to live a more joyful life every day, the kind of life that God created you for. Check it out. And then how, how about his actions in, in society? Uh, have things been revealed to you about the devil's strategy in society and the church? And I think of 2 Corinthians 4, 4, the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they yes. cannot see the light of the gospel. That's right. It displays the glory of Christ, who's the image of God. And often in my, in my work in evangelization now, yeah. It's becoming clear. I'm not yeah. just I'm not just going up against someone who's not able to comprehend something I'm saying, such that I have to say it a different way and then they'll get it. Right. It's like, no, no, there's there's a, a, a chasm blockage. here. Yeah. Like they can't see. No, they can't. Um so are there specific blind spots that you can see that are very clearly demonic in, in origin? I think that the, the um I think there's two parts to it. The first is the one I'm seeing the most is um Expecting that they that how do I say this? They basically pe getting people to think that somehow or another, if we just elect the right president, if we just get the right people in charge, if we mm. just get these things in place, things will be fine. A worldly fix. Yeah, re failing to realize now the problem's in us. Mm. There's that. That's the Marxist solution. It is that good people say, well, if I can just get the right conservative in, it's uh, then yeah, I, I even we'll one solve time, all the world's problems. Yeah, I even told people, look, if you think that they ultimately that the that the most important thing about an election is the economy, you've already succumbed to Marxism. Yeah, it's true. It's about, it should ultimately be about the virtue of the citizenry. That should be the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. But the, sec the second component, not that the economy is not important, but the, sec the, the, the other part is there's a tremendous blindness to the, um, to the natural law. Mm. So, uh, and, and I had just read that passage like two days ago that you just think, and I, that really mm. struck me how they, they're just blinded. They can't yeah, even see. Can't see it. They just can't see it. And um, St. Thomas says that the blindness in relationship to the natural law comes from one of two sources, either sin or bad formation. Wow. So the more sinful we become, it affects our judgment, and we eventually begin to think that it's a good thing, and so we can't even see that what we're doing is bad. Mm. Right? We see, actually saw that in our country where in the 50s they knew fornication was immoral. And then yeah. it started to decline, and they in the 60s they knew they shouldn't have been doing it, but they kind of gave into it. And now it's like, no, you should do it. And now people are scandalized at me for saying that it's for, bad. for going so far as to say you you shouldn't uh, dismember a, a human fetus with, that's a, right. with scissors in a vacuum. Human, that's right. And you're scandalized at me saying that's that. Right. Like that was obvious to yeah. all of humanity until yesterday. Yes, exactly. And it tells you. Uh, th those very things, what I would watch these people on mainstream news media talking about, no, I want to kill children, that the blindness is so profound. And by that time, the demons can actually block people from even responding to grace that would might bring them out of it, That's which is part of the difficulty. But it's also bad formation. This is what we're seeing in in the schools where they want to bring in stuff that is, you know, basically teaching people things that are contrary to what it means to be a man or be, be a woman or yeah, the things of that yeah. sort. You know, we're seeing it even in our own culture. Um, I even did a series on what is brainwashing and how mm. our culture is being brainwashed by the mainstream news media in the sense of it's the same thing, repetition over and over and over yeah. again. And that's the formation that they're giving people. And so um, that's, so anyway, that's, I think, that's what I'm seeing is that the demons are capitalizing on um, the desire or the, the, the sinfulness and the inability to see what the actual truth is, what is actually mm. good according to the natural law. But then the other part is I call it hopium, putting their hopes in things that are just never going to provide it. Wow. Hopium is a great word. Yeah. Man, wasn't that a great conversation? I personally love these conversations. They help me live life to the full. And it's great to be able to do this in a way that you get to be a guest just watching and joining me in this journey to the kind of life that Jesus made us for. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. We'll see you in the next one.